In the previous video, we created a design for our HTML email. In this short video, the third in the series, we will explain the code structure needed for an email. First, let's view the finished code. It's in a document that we have named demo email. Note that we have saved it as a .html document, demo email .html. This code contains everything that is needed to get started making an HTML email. We've included this code in the Simple Lists blog, so if you want to get started quickly, you can just copy and paste it into a blank document. The first thing you see is the doc type declaration. This tells the email client which version of HTML is being used. Next come the HTML tags. They wrap the rest of the document, with the closing HTML tag being on the last line. The head element contains all the document metadata. This is simply information about the document. Finally, the body element contains the content of the email. This is the part that will actually show on the screen. We'll create this in the next video. Let's consider the doc type. Here we have set the doc type as XHTML 1.0 transitional. If you were designing a web page, you wouldn't use this doc type because it's outdated. Instead, you'd use HTML5. However, email clients can be tricky and XHTML 1.0 has been shown to be the most reliable doc type to use for emails. Note that some email clients, such as Android Gmail app and Outlook 2010, strip out the doc type completely. Other clients, such as iPad and iPhone Gmail apps, Outlook Express and Thunderbird 6, accept the doc type that you set. Other clients, such as Gmail and Hotmail, remove your doc type and replace it with XHTML 1.0 strict. This has implications for testing. For now though, you can use the doc type as it is shown here, knowing that it is the most reliable type. Now let's consider the HTML tags. Inside these tags, you can see that we have included an XMLNS attribute. This is required for XHTML, so must be included. We have also included the language type as English. Screen reader software uses this information, so it is helpful to include this for sight impaired people. Inside the head tag, the first metadata that we include is the content type. This controls the display of different character sets. For HTML emails, we set this as UTF-8. Meta Viewport, as seen here, sets the viewable area to the width of the device screen. If you want your email to be responsive, then include this line of code. If your email is intended solely for desktop users, then don't include it. The final bit of metadata to include is the title tag. This is worth including because it is used by Outlook when people use the View and Browser function, and it can also appear in email previews in some versions of Hotmail. That's all you need to know for the code structure of HTML emails. Simple.